five soft skills that every computer science student needs to learn. So if you're new around here, my name is Rian Siddiqui. I work at Microsoft. And if you're a computer science student or someone in university looking to get an opportunity in the tech industry, there's five key skills that you need to learn in order to maximize your chances of getting into industry. Or if you are someone already in the industry and in order to progress your careers, there's a lot of soft skills that you need to pick up along the way to maximize your chances of, of growing yourself. Now skills in this video, I'll be defining that. So soft skills and hard skills, there's two types of skills. Soft skills, the definition in the context of this video, are skills that you naturally attain. It's something that you can't really teach others. It's more on just observing and just learning through experience. So stuff like leadership. Um, you can definitely learn about it, but to actually acquire that skill, you need to go through some type of like experience. So you naturally pick it up. So that's what I mean by when I say soft skills in this video. The other type of skills is hard skill. Hard skills are where you get, uh, you do a set of training, you acquire that skill, and that's about it. So say you um, learn how to fix pipes, for example, that's a hard skill. You can learn it, and then you, you've you acquired that skill. You'll have that skill for the rest of your life. Now you can fix uh, broken pipes, for example. Say you learned about how to like edit YouTube videos, okay, and that's a hard skill. So you've learned that, and now you acquired that skill. And now um, you have that skill uh, within your arsenal. In this video, I'll be talking about five soft skills. Skill number one is communication. Communication is key in everything you're doing in your life. And this doesn't apply to computer science only. Any major, any career option, anything you want to do in life, communication is key. Some of my tips on how you can communicate more effectively is number one, less is more. Always remember, try to communicate in as few words as possible. Number two is try to avoid using fancy words. A lot of, oh, no, no, even if all the people on earth knew fancy words, try not to use them. They just communicate in plain English. Try to communicate such that a child can understand you, an adult, an elderly person can understand you. Try to communicate as such that even a foreigner who is learning English or whatever language you're speaking in can understand you. Like make this your key set of rules to speak whatever you're writing, whenever you're talking, whenever you're trying to present something. Make this your golden rules that you'll orient your speech, your writing towards. Less is more. Try to do less and focus on using simple language that people can understand. The second skill is collaboration. Collaboration is really underrated. I, it's also a, a difficult one to pick up really. Um, if you are someone in university, obviously you'll have a bit of collaboration experience working on projects with different people and so on. But the skill that I want you to focus on like within this collaboration skill is to understand people, how they work and how you can get them to work. I think this is the most important skill, especially in the tech industry. Um, if you wanna be say an engineering manager, um, this is one of the key skills is how you can understand like what work someone is doing, how do you assign, the, how do you allocate work to different people, understanding their needs, their strengths and accommodating those, setting a common goal and then allocating like breaking down a puzzle, breaking down a problem into small parts and then assigning them to people. So that's what I mean by collaboration. The third skill I want you to learn is problem solving. Now this obviously you've heard it like since you've grown up like problem solving, problem solving. Like that's the main key stuff that you've been hearing on. But with problem solving, what essentially it is, is taking a problem, any problem, and breaking down, breaking it down into smaller chunks. So essentially divide and conquer. So you, div you divide a problem into smaller chunks and then you start to conquer that chunk one by one. So say you want to build a website. Now instead of building everything at once, okay, a website, what does a website has? First it has a design, okay, so now I'm going to design my website, okay, this is what I want the buttons to look like, this is what I want my home screen to look like, for example. Uh, then second part a website does is that it's functional, say someone clicks on this button, this happens, so I outline that part. So um, this is just an example I came up, so say you want to create a website, break it down into smaller parts. Within that website you want to add complex functionality, like say you add a... Uh, something like say like a, you know one of those filters that Snapchat or TikTok has where it tracks your face you want to add like that type of super insane complex functionality in whatever app or whatever stuff that you're working on well you can always break a problem down no matter how small a problem is you can always break it down into smaller chunks so make this your approach in life like try to have an analytical approach to almost everything that you do any problem that you have say you go to the gym for example, you're struggling to get your strength gains up. Try to think of it like analytically, try to problem solve. Okay, I'm struggling with increasing my strength on this particular movement. 
what do I do? Do some research online. Try to break it down. So, okay, there's diet, diet that you can improve on. So your um, caloric intake, your protein intake, maybe that's a factor. Maybe you're doing too high reps. Like break it down. So this is an example I'm giving, but try to break down problems and like into the smallest chunks as possible and then go from there. The fourth skill I want you to learn is time management. Now this is probably the most underrated skill out of all of these five. Um, time management, I mean, especially nowadays with like these modern tools like TikTok, Instagram, and I know I'm not an example. I'm not a role model in this. I myself have my struggles, but like TikTok, like the amount of time you just this goes by just passively scrolling through social media is insane and this is just one of the distractions there's so many other stuff that can like like just suck your time like you like it'll, it'll just take your time away and you won't even know what happened like video games for example like you start playing a game like one two hour goes by you don't know what happened so time management like try to focus on that especially in your university days that's an essential skill to learn now fifth last but not least is adaptability try to be adaptable in life and by adaptable this i do not mean like academic or like career wise i mean that as well that's the focus of the video but try to be adaptable in your life personally accept the reality of the world like stuff changes there's a lot of stuff that's out of your control stuff that you cannot do like just adapt to it if it works it works if it doesn't just just adapt until it works like make that your mindset that should be your focus as a student as a working professional Whatever you do, whatever endeavor you do in life, like whatever you want to pursue in life, to make that your goal. Like if it works, it works. If it doesn't, just keep on adjusting until it works. So hopefully you guys have liked these five soft skills um, that are sent that I think are essential for computer science. Well, not really computer science, but anyone in general, honestly, that want to do anything in life. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.